Joined in the studio this morning with Matt from Rebath. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing great. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is uh, on camera, but we've been chatting for about 15 minutes here in the studio about everything that you guys have been doing at Rebath. Um, you have been remodeling a bathroom for Randy, who yep. uh, is diagnosed with MS, and it's somebody you hadn't met before. No, uh, we were just looking uh, to do a bathroom for someone in need, and Randy's uh, situation was that no modifications had been made in his bathroom, and it just wasn't working for him at all. And so we've gone in, taken out the old shower, made it bigger, put in a seat, put in handhelds, grab bars, and just made it a lot more functional for him. Interesting. And you had never met Randy. This is the first time, so, uh, you know, three months ago, you yep. never met anybody with MS. No. And uh, Randy... Uh, he was, you know, obviously a little skeptical, like, hey, what are you trying to sell me kind of thing? I said, nothing. Right. Uh, we're looking to do uh, a $10,000 bathroom remodel for free just because you're in need. And so once we figured out that it was uh, legit, and uh, <laughs> uh, he was pretty excited, and his, his kids have been over, and they're, everybody's all excited that their dad's getting treated like this. So, Well, hats off to you for stepping up and Thank helping you. out the MS Society. We do appreciate that. Big time. Ten years for you guys, too. Ten years this year, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how a bathroom remodel works when we talk about a bathroom remodel. Is it just you take tub out, put a new tub in? We actually do full bathroom custom remodeling. So anything that's in the bathroom, some bathrooms we're just doing what we call the wet area. It's just the shower or tub area, taking the tub shower base out, new walls, new shower valve. Other bathrooms we're gutting the whole thing down to the studs putting in new drywall, painting, vanity, flooring. So we can do everything. And we do it in a lot more efficient way than normal because each of the trades, we have people on staff. So we're not running, we're not organizing 10 different subs. It's our employees. And so it's very easy to you. Um, we actually take the showroom out to you. So the initial appointment, we come out to your house. We bring all the samples with us. We've got a car full of samples. And you actually select your bathroom uh, while we're there. And then we can give you an exact price um, because you've made all your selections. It's not a ballpark. It's mm. a real price. Uh, and then uh, four to six weeks later, we're installing your bathroom. No kidding. That's fantastic. Isn't that something? <laughs> I can imagine you going through the color process, oh, Terry. Oh, yes. I love yeah. the bathroom. Well, bathrooms and kitchens, that's what it's all about. Right. <laughs> so would you have a stand-up shower, or would you go with a bathtub? Um, I like the stand-up shower, but I like it where you have like a seat where you can do things, yep. and you've got you know different things in the wall to, to do all that, but I'm more of a shower person for sure. <laughs> Not that a nice bath is a great once in a while right. of course do you find people like uh, to, to worry about the countertops and all the the little stuff or do they look at the big picture really I mean, you're seeing a lot more grays happening today really? so mm -hmm. we're moving gray is the new brown neutral yeah. i'm not sure <laughs> what, what you call it but yeah. gray is the new neutral yeah. and so you're seeing a lot more shades of gray uh in there and so your your countertop your flooring your tub walls uh you'll see i think we went through a trend where biscuit accessories and brown earth tones mm -hmm. was really popular and that's still going on but you're seeing a lot more white crisp uh grays and dark tones like that and so you because they're so different uh, you can't just do your tub shower area in gray and leave everything else brown. It won't go. So uh, the, we're seeing a lot more full bathroom remodels moving into a little bit more modern gray color. My, my friend did that. She says, I have 50 shades of gray. I have oh, to choose boy. from. <laughs> you should carry that book around with you. No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> we don't need that. <laughs> uh, you know, just some easy reading. Yeah. That's right. Well, let's talk about your anniversary here. Ten years. You guys are having a big party, bar our barbecue. Yep. We're having our barbecue this Saturday, the 13th, uh, 84th and F Street from 10 to 2. We're going to have pulled pork and brats and a lot of carnival games. So we're going to have the big hamster balls that people, you, anyone from my seven-year-old is going to be in that hamster ball, really? and I'm going to be in that <laughs> hamster ball. So they're about six foot around, and uh, that are a blast. We're going to have a bunch of carnival games. Uh, we're going to have the bounce house. Uh, we're just going to... We're just celebrating and having a lot of fun there. Uh, free food uh, while you're there. So just celebrate our 10-year our ten anniversary. Excellent. Let's dig a little bit more into the bathroom you guys have been remodeling for Randy. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about a full bathroom remodel here, correct? We actually did uh, the tub uh, 
he had a corner jacuzzi, so we right. redecked the corner jacuzzi, and the shower that was next to it, we enlarged the shower considerably so there would be room for a seat in there. And then we did new vanity tops, we painted new mirrors and lighting. Mm-hmm. Um, so the flooring stayed the same, uh, the vanity stayed the same, but everything else in that bathroom got redone. And we went to a uh, took tile out and instead put in a natural stone. So Rebath has a natural stone line. Um, so it's a groutless slab insulation of stone. It is gorgeous. Wow. And uh, the pictures, anybody watching the video right now is mm-hmm. looking at the pictures we're showing them. The before and after, it's just amazing yes. what you guys did. It, it is phenomenal. It's yeah. just beautiful. It just steps it up a little bit, and it's it's gorgeous. And functional. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about that because when someone comes to you and they say, I need some sort of a functional uh, shower or bathroom for someone who's disabled, um, is that something you guys just go, we can handle that? Absolutely. And so the kind of the, ter- the industry term, aging in place, mm-hmm. has really caught on that it's no one talks about uh, handicap accessible anymore. Right. Um, it's much more what is comfort, what is safe. Mm-hmm. And so. Uh, that aging in place and safety solutions in the bathroom, uh, we can handle just about anything that's in there from, from comfort height toilets to putting seats uh, in bathrooms, handhelds uh, in the shower area that allow you to rinse while sitting down and having transfer valves that allow you to control between the shower head and the, and the handheld. It just oh, makes course. it a lot more. Yeah. So a shower head squirting down on you uh, when you're sitting on a seat isn't conducive to rinsing. Mm-hmm. And so that that's a, a big thing. Wow. Yep. That's awesome. It must just make you feel so good to see people before and after to see the look on oh, their face. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine. All right. So Rebath of the Heartland, how do we get in touch with you if we want to get more details or find out about a uh, full bathroom remodel? Uh, our website is just rebath.com. Uh, if you want to do backslash Heartland, uh, that's our personal site, but rebath.com gets you there. Our local phone number is 991-2818. And... Uh, We'll run appointments at any time. Uh, we're, we have evening appointments. We have Saturday appointments. So we want to know when when is your schedule open, and we have guys running calls at that time. Excellent. It's nice, nice to hear that customer service still exists, right? Oh, I, I know. That's very important. Well, and, you know, before we started recording, we could tell that this is something you're very proud of. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, a, a like I said, it was 10 years ago. So we opened our very first barbecue was in April of 2008 and six months later the economy crashed Mm. and so it was a hard time to start a new business Mm -hmm. and I'll tell you customer service and marketing uh, seeing marketing as an investment and not as an expense um, those two things have really helped us stand the test of because we've seen a lot of companies come and go in 10 years yeah and we've stood the test of time in treating people right and taking care of them giving them the easy solution with quality products and a lifetime warranty um in the end 10 years later we've got a great brand we've got good recognition and we have thousands of happy customers excellent and that a rating with the better business bureau they don't give those out often so they have that as well a plus yeah Yeah. Yeah. all right yeah yeah. Ah, i love it yeah a plus (laughs) all right so did you call that a a hamster ball what did you call that thing it's a it's a big inflatable ball it's probably six foot around and you climb inside of it there's two of them and you run inside the ball at each other at each other and race and there's a track that they cross each other um i've seen them they're awesome yeah. okay they're and awesome I, we put my son in it at, <laughs> they was at the school that's where i got the idea and the guy pushed it and so the kids like flipping around inside the ball it's we're gonna have a lot of fun all right this weekend we'll <laughs> see you this there. weekend so yeah. uh, address so everybody knows where to find you uh, actual address is 4123 south 84th street but it's right on the corner of 84th and f street just a block south of the interstate can't miss that nope. no not at all we'll see you saturday see you then Thanks, Matt. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matt.